Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazner here, and today in this video, I want to show you my top 10 sneaker picks of 2021. Uh, as you guys may be able to count, there's 11. I have a bonus one for you. We're going to go ahead and talk about each one in depth, and I'd also like to say this video was sponsored by NBA Top Shot. We'll talk a little bit about that later on in this video. So with that being said, let's get into it. the video we actually had a we, we were hanging up this picture over here and i don't know how i just managed to completely slice my finger and uh this is a good time to use the supreme band-aid ladies and gentlemen i can't believe i'm saying it i am literally wasting 15 dollars on a band-aid that's crazy 15 dollar band-aid i can't believe i'm actually adding this to my number one of 2021 summer's best sneaker but i think it's gonna have to go to the yeezy slide and I'm giving into the hype on this. I haven't really hype beasted all that much this year. Social media is eating these up right now. The Yeezy slides, people are saying they're extremely comfortable and I haven't even undies my pair yet. So I'm gonna let you know if they're comfortable in a couple seconds here. Let's talk about it. Why is this sneaker the most hyped of 2021? I think the reason why people really love these is how comfortable the material is. As you guys can see, when you squish it, it really is just gonna conform to your foot. There's no boost in this slide. It's just very, very comfortable. And this bottom, it almost looks like a tank. Here we go. Let's see how comfortable Yeezy Slide actually is. And I can't believe I'm wearing the Nike socks. What are um, well, they're size nine, so I wear a size nine. I think I have to try on the other one too. Hang on. Out. They're actually really hard to get your feet in, so I would maybe get a size up. Um, really? <laughs> dude, are these the new house Johns? They, they feel a little tight. They're also very comfortable. Like that traction is almost like giving me motion when I walk. Like it allows me to walk better, I feel like. I don't know, just like there's a little more pep in my step, you know, if you catch my drift. I would actually rate the comfort of these. If I maybe had a bigger size and they weren't crunching the arch of my foot, I would honestly give these a nine out of 10 for comfort. Almost as good as an ultra boost back in the day. Uh, maybe you guys can comment down below your opinion on the Yeezy slides. I think retail on these things was like a hundred bucks or right around it. And this particular color, I think it's called resin, is selling for $160 in a size nine. I'll probably list these up on my website for $165. So you guys can go to blazenary.com, check that out. I've seen some other colors of the Yeezy slide selling for like $250, $300. What's your take on the Yeezy slide? Now the next sneaker that we're gonna add onto the list is the Nike SB Sting Water. So this is a skateboarding sneaker. This collaboration is between Sting Water and Nike Dunk. And as you guys can see, this sneaker is pretty crazy. So there's a lot of different elements that I wanna talk about. Uh, primarily the first one is gonna be the Safari print that is all up on the, uh, the upper here of the sneaker. It really is something different that you don't see a lot of. Safari print is not common on a lot of sneaker models. So that's definitely taking a step in a very unique direction another thing i want to point out is the tongue itself the tongue is a clear translucent tongue and as you guys can see there is a little bit of a zipper component so let's open this up and as you guys can see it's almost like there's another little stash pouch there we've seen a lot of sneakers recently coming out with the stash pouch now it also seems like on the inside of the sneaker the details and the materials are really really high quality it's like they used it, what looks like corduroy on the inside liner of the sneaker and on the inside that is a green insole and a very special detail about the sneaker is actually on the translucent sole as you guys may see the uh the message that it lays out plant emoji with eyes uh maybe i could leave that up for your own interpretation but this is like i said a very unique nike sb i think the sneaker market as a whole right now is sort of on a little bit of a downtrend these in particular were going for around $300 when they initially released back in May. I think it was like May 15th or May 10th or something like that. And the prices, they've just kind of went downwards. I think pairs are going for around 240, 245 and like a nine, nine and a half. I right here have a size nine and uh, we got these on a little shopping spree video when we went shopping with the NFL Chargers player, Mike Dub. So you guys could check that out. I'll leave a little I card in the video. But yeah, what do you guys think of the Stingwaters? Is this a pair you'd rock? Or is this a pair you drop? Definitely a sneaker that may turn people off if you aren't a fan of that mini jewel swoosh. I think if personally they made a bigger swoosh, 
this sneaker would be a $400 plus sneaker. A sneaker that made a return in the year 2021 is gonna be the Raging Bull 5. Now this one right here, guys, I don't know if you knew, but this was one of my grails back when I was a kid because they came out in a special pack. You had to buy two pairs of sneakers if you wanted one of them. And that right here, once again, is the Raging Bull 5. So they did a little re-release of the sneaker. I was really stoked to see that they re-released. A lot of collectors like myself definitely appreciate this pair because of how hard it was to get a pair of Raging Bulls for a good price back then. And all the pairs from like 10 years ago just aren't in great conditions now and probably aren't pairs that you'd wanna have in your collection on a day-to-day -day basis. As time goes on, those pairs from 2011, when the originals dropped, uh, they just kind of are fading, the bottoms are yellowed, and it was time for them to get a revamp and a reboot, which is uh, what they did. So they re-released these without the pack. I'm really glad that Jordan Brand did that because now I can appreciate the Raging Bulls with an icier bottom, updated materials, which some people don't like. I mean, hey, if it's gonna be sustainable, I'll wear it. This sneaker has restocked quite a few times, and you guys can pick it up for right around the retail price of about $200. It's kind of crazy to think that a classic like this is still sitting for a retail price And I would suggest that if you guys really like this sneaker go at it grab one because the prices after a year I'm sure are gonna rise because it'll be harder to find a dead stock pair now I'd argue that this might be the sneaker of the year and I'm only saying that because of a little bit of personal bias But I hope you guys might be able to understand as to why for a couple different factors now before I stir up a lot of people in the comments I do want to give an audible mention to the Amam and Yer threes Here's the issue, I don't have them in hand yet. How about we go find them in a future vlog and review them? It comes in a white and purple box and it's a pair of sneakers that I've been waiting to see released for literally years. I've been really wanting to see Jordan Brand release a purple and white Air Jordan 1 High because there's an original 1985 colorway that came out that looks pretty much like this and there hasn't been one that emulated something this similar since the original release in 1985. The only one that's part of my collection that's even remotely close to this is the 2009 sample that I have, and the only reason why it even resembles it is, well, once again, it's a sample pair, as you guys can see. This is modeled after an Air Jordan 1 High, but they used mid-top components. It's literally the same cut, like there's no difference in the height, it's not a mid. It's an actual Air Jordan 1 High with mid-top components, the Jumpman and the Jumpman on the tongue. So uh, because this is a sample pair, I'm not gonna wear it, and the fact that they GR'd something very similar is perfect for me. They come in a women's colorway, and if that might make you go, well, what does that mean? It means you have to actually size up if you wanna enjoy this pair. I got a women's size 11, which is about a men's nine and a half, and I think this is gonna be a great summer shoe once I actually bust it out, make it on DS. Uh, I wanna talk about some components on the inside. As you guys can see, that material is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. There's a satin liner on the inside and the fact that these are even going for Remotely near the retail price is why I think this is going to be one of the best sneakers of 2021 It's because this you can get it for right around retail price and the quality on it is outstanding I would definitely recommend adding this one to your list because this is one of those lower end shoes That definitely will make its way to the three to four hundred dollar range I would give or take in a couple years now guys We have another pair of sneakers right here that I haven't even opened up and got to see for myself before we actually Actually open this up I want to talk about today's sponsor of the video NBA Top Shot so let's hit the computer and let's check out what's going on over there NBA Top Shot is an experience for everybody that is a huge fan of the NBA Top Shot is the future of sports collectibles because you are getting access to the rarest moments in NBA history sports collecting is huge and NBA Top Shot is gonna be one of the biggest sports collectibles of all time it is the currency of the NBA fandom you guys have access to owning these rare moments that have happened in NBA history like none other. And you might ask yourself, well, why would I buy a highlight or a moment? It's about actually owning the piece of history and being able to connect and talk with other NBA super fans about the exclusive moment. And having access to these Top Shot packs gives you super rare and exclusive opportunities you wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. Like you guys wouldn't want to miss out on an opportunity to go to the game five of the finals, would you? Well, I'm telling you, Top Shot is going to give you those kinds of special exclusive activities You'll get to watch even more as Topshot continues to grow over time. You can win merch, autographs,
autographs, collectible memorabilia, exclusive meet and greets with the players. And it's so cool to see how easy it is to actually access Topshop because you just need a credit card to buy one of these moments. So let me show you what this is all about. So let's check out the website. As you guys can see, I can complete the team quest. I can collect three moments from my favorite team to increase my baller status. You guys can choose your favorite team that you rep. I highly recommend you go ahead and get yourself one of these starter packs. As you guys can see right here, it says common contains three moments and it's $9. And you need to up your collector score points if you want to go ahead and get access to the rarer packs. And these things are supply and demand. Obviously, this is a common, so the rare ones are going to be worth more. And it's such a dope feeling when you can collect a moment from your favorite player or team. So we want to go ahead and check this out. Julius Randall, you guys can see what moment you're actually going to unlock. There's a lowest ask. There's even a top sale. There's so much community involved where you can connect your Discord and search up other Top Shot people. So you guys can go ahead and give me a search. My name is at Blazendary. And I'm really ready to go ahead and check out what's in my packs. As you guys can see, I have the Cool Cats drop number three, the common pack. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what moment I'm going to get. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's in this first common pack right here. Yo, I'm excited. Let's open the pack. Oh, we get a bunch of stuff. All right, let's see. Click to reveal. We got a common, okay. All right, let's see this dunk right here. Ooh, very dope. So as you guys can see, this is number 1,831 of 35,000. Let's check out this next moment right here. The next moment we have is Porzingis. Moment number 13,896 of 15,000. All right, let's check out this next one. Here we go. We got another three-pointer right here by Jay Crowder. Let's check out this next one, guys. We got a pretty low serial number, 1289 of over 40,000. Dunk by Darren Fox. And let's check out this last one. So what do we got? We have number 547 of over 40,000. I love getting those low serial numbers, collecting that. Very cool dunk right there. And they give you a little description as well, which is what I really love. It tells you about the moment. It gives you the game score, the date. Notable pull was the lowest serial number. I could place it for sale if I want to. As you guys can see, based on the serial number, it looks like we're gonna go ahead and get some different prices. You guys can check the pricing history, the latest sales, as well as the current listings. And as you guys can see, you sort it by the serial number. That's what the prices are. It's over number 547. Maybe I could ask like 20 bucks for it. As you guys can see, my collector score has gone up because of the packs and it's just a way to continue growing and building your account to get even more rare moments. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up this next common pack, the series two release 35. Let's check it out, open the pack, see what we got guys. Here we go, okay. How many moments we get this time? We get three moments, a block. Let's see this next moment right here. We have another common and this was an assist. Let's check it out. Ooh, and let's check out the final moment in the base set. Another common, number 73, 23 of 40,000, LA Clippers layup. We're adding to our base set, and let's check it out. We got some more moments to get. What's our lowest notable pull on that one? That one's going to be the 6759 of 40,000. Let's go ahead and open up the premium pack, series two, drop one, one rare pack. I've been waiting for this one, yo. I'm really excited. Let's see what we get, guys. Oh, we got a ton of stuff on this one. We got a Dwight Howard dunk on the Brooklyn Nets. Let's check out this next premium pack. Another common New York Knicks moment right here. We have another dunk. We have an Indiana Pacers rare number 211. Miles Turner of 499. Whoa, that one is really dope. Metallic Gold LE Series 2. And let's see, come on. Our final is gonna be another common we added a new card to our metallic gold set now we got the highest tier notable pull let's check it out the lowest ask on this one is going to be 80 dollars, with the top sale being 5500 sorting by the serial number as you guys can see the prices are crazy so this moment seems to be reselling quite a bit and what i want to do is i want to give this moment to one of you guys that signs up so you guys can gift moments as you guys can see as know my username at blazonary you can come find me on there and because I've collected five moments, I've now accessed this first challenge, which is another way to get some really awesome opportunities and prizes. So the link to Top Shot's gonna be in the description below. Thank you so much to Top Shot for sponsoring this video. Hope to see you guys over there. Now let's get back to the best shoes, in my opinion, of 2021. Hope you guys like Top Shot because that is gonna be something I'm gonna be paying attention to for quite a while. Let's jump into this pair of sneakers. We have the undefeated Nike Air Force One. 
and as you guys can see special box this thing is absolutely gorgeous wow i was not expecting the box to be this nice normally you have a traditional air force box it could be an orange box it could be a black nike box i love when they actually put detail into creating custom graphics for the release this one is uh, an undefeated collab undefeated is a store that is not only in la i think is obviously global with their online and i actually got these for retail on their website i managed to get in line got on the queue and sure enough we have right here a pair of olive colored khaki undefeated air force ones they even released a nike sb alongside the air forces but i didn't manage to get those i actually just managed to get these and i'm still very grateful to have gotten them for retail the resale may not be that crazy over the retail price point which was only 140 dollars i think they're going for about 180 or 195 at this point but for an undefeated, you can expect the price of these to just jump over time with that limited type of collab, the branding. See, it has the undefeated logo, the five tally mark symbol. We also have on the inside that graphic you saw on the top of the box. What I also like about this is that they didn't use a white midsole. They actually used a cream, and I think the cream really makes it stand out with the olive. It's got some great color blocking to it, and the quality of the sneaker, it's like there's like a Kevlar on the toe box. And then on the side, I honestly can't even make out what this is. It's maybe some sort of new buck. Talking about September and October, when you bring out those earth tones, I really think this could be a sneaker you'd want to add before the price starts to climb. And I think Air Forces are on a new wave. A lot of people have been getting into them. The older ones are reselling for way more than they used to. Newer ones are selling out, and these were no different. They sold out on drop day. And would you rock these? Let me know right now. Let's get this video to 5,000 likes, and I'll go ahead and give away a pair of undefeated Air Forces. Leave a like on this video, drop a comment down below saying why you wanna win a pair of undefeated Air Forces, and I will give these away once this video hits 5,000 likes. I feel like it's the year of the Air Jordan 5. And I say it like this because I feel like Jordan brand picks a certain model that they focus on and they just drop colorway after colorway. This is another classic that Jordan brand has re-released this year. Next to the Raging Bulls, well, in 2006, five years prior, we have the Stealth 5. So this is actually a 2.0 of the sneaker. This isn't even the 1.0 re-release. This is in fact an entirely new colorway. I'll pull up a picture of the 2006 Stealths right here. So let's go ahead and compare it just straight off the bat. There is just a completely different colorway in the midsole. The white and the royal blue remains true on the sneaker. So that's why they call it the Stealth 2.0. I cannot enjoy the Stealth 5s from 2006 purely because they will crumble if I put them on being that they now have a re-release, an updated fresh color, and new materials like the pebbled leather. I would definitely say this is a sneaker I'm gonna be wearing for the summer. I think it's a perfect summer sneaker. Back to school, this would be perfect. Absolutely love the Air Jordan 5s. Even if you're not wearing blue, like if you're wearing black, gray, etc., you can color block and match with these all day long. Now this has got to be one of my favorite releases of the year. This right here is an Air Jordan 4 and it came out overseas, but we were able to get it because we went to a sneaker con and we were able to pick it up in person on a vlog. And that right there is going to be the UK Metallic Orange Air Jordan 4. This has got to be one of my favorite releases of the year purely because of the fact that you've never seen a colorway gorgeous with this one. The Skittles rainbow is in effect on the Air Jordan 4s with the metallic colorways that they dropped all year between the purples last year, the oranges, the greens, the reds. Each region had a specific colorway, so the United Kingdom had this orange metallic. And like I said, I haven't seen a sneaker like this in a very long time where it's just focusing on the accent colors. This sneaker right here is gonna be one of the more expensive ones that you're seeing in today's video purely because of just how limited they actually were. The production numbers seem quite low because they were overseas. It's also harder to get your hands on them. And this pair is going for about 380 to 450, depending on what size you get. I'm a huge Air Jordan 4 collector, so I had to grab these and I'll certainly be grabbing the other region exclusive colors. And let's get on to the next one. <laughs> now, even though these came out literally a year ago, I'm adding them on this year's list because I still feel like they should be talked about. I say within another year, these are gonna get lost within the tide of all the different releases. I swear, my goal of this video is to put you guys on the pairs that I just have my eye on or had my eye on even for this year because some of you guys might be saving up that bread, saving up that guap. These right here are coming for about 600 to 650, depending on where you get them. They came out last year, right at the end of 2020. We have the Air Jordan 5 Off-White Sale. 
Now, I, as you guys have seen, there's been a ton of Air Jordan 5s this video, but like I said, they really have been focusing a lot on colorways for the 4s, the 5s, and these right here are no different. I'm adding these onto the list because we had to throw on some sort of a hypey kind of shoe, but at the end of the day, this is the better of the off-white colorways, fire red aspect of it, the classic OG look in a way, and with that new redesigned uh, off-white is just honestly a really appealing sneaker. Get some looks when you wear them with a very nice outfit. And this sneaker is really, really breathable. Like when you put it on, it is not only comfortable, it's lightweight and it's very stylish. And that's why it's gonna go on my list. Even though it came out in 2020, I would still say if you're gonna rock these for the school year, you're definitely gonna be turning some heads. Your homies are gonna be like, damn. You got some heat on. Next up, this is another honorable mention. I once again think this sneaker is gonna take off in price just because of how many people are actually getting interested in Jordan 1s, especially as of this year. That's gonna be the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple. So these came out in 2020. There was a release in 2018 that looked very, very similar to these, but in fact, they are separate colorways. And the reason why I'm adding this one onto my list is because like I said, a lot more people, especially this year, are getting into the sneaker game. And the Air Jordan 1s are a sneaker that most people go towards if they've never even been in the sneaker game. You'll see people rocking mids, lows. The prices have kind of fluctuated and stabilized at around $300. My guess is within the next couple years, these could rise to about 600 bucks in price. I mean, we've seen it with Jordans like the Air Jordan 1 Turbo Green, bricked for months, and then all of a sudden, they just got eaten up, and now they're selling for like 500 bucks. I feel like the same thing is gonna happen with pairs like these, where it's just slept on, and then it just catches wind out of nowhere. I'm doing it again. This is a pair that came out in late 2020, but I'm bringing it to your attention because maybe you didn't see it. And this right here is gonna be an Air Jordan Golf sneaker. For all the people that play with cleated sneakers, this right here is gonna be one that I'm throwing on your radar because you can get it for retail or under retail. At one point, this sneaker was going for about 250. I paid 250 for these. They're the Wings Air Jordan UNC Low Purple Ice. I thought they'd keep their resale price of like 250, but not a lot of people are into golf, so I can assume the prices went down. Now would be a good time, especially with sports seasons coming back definitely one you should keep your eye out for if you play my final pair that i want to show you is a literal honorable mention it's pair number 11 even though this video says 10 and it's because this sneaker came out actually years ago so good luck finding it unless you're going to search the aftermarkets i just wanted to bring it up because i got it this year it was a pair that i was really stoked to get it's a pair of air jordan fives Woof, we've seen a lot this video the shanghai's now the prices on these over time have honestly just fell so for whatever reason if you guys see those jordans from like 2013 2014 keep them on your radar people are looking to dump them for some of these newer colorways and newer models like the sbs and hyped air jordan ones so these kinds of pairs that we're just going for a lot might be able to find on a little bit of a discount and i love the colorway on it super classic and it's one of my favorite jordan models i want to say thank you so much for watching this video please make sure you go ahead and leave a like you guys can win a pair of these undefeated air forces if you guys give this video to 5,000 likes so just be sure you leave a like comment down below which is your favorite pair and let's talk about it what's your favorite sneaker of 2021 what did i not include on this list that maybe you want to see me pick up and talk about in a future video and thank you to top shot for sponsoring you guys can check out that link in the description below to learn more about that boy blazonary guys we're signing out see you in another summer vlog very soon stay positive guys and peace